For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Monday, June 13th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following for you at this hour. A new fame man was airlifted following a Sunday evening crash on Townsend Road in Grafton. Vermont State Police say 28-year-old Ronald Underwood was driving south on Townsend Road when he lost control and struck a tree head-on. Underwood was ejected during the crash. He was airlifted to Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center for serious life-threatening injuries. This crash remains under investigation. Anyone who may have witnessed the crash is asked to call the Vermont State Police at the Westminster Barracks. Beginning today, Groundworks Collaborative's FoodWorks Food Shelf program will reopen to in-person shopping after two years of curbside pickup and deliveries. The, pro, uh, the program rather, has been located at 141 Canal Street since September of 2019, but had to quickly reorganize operations in March of 2020 at the start of the COVID pandemic to ensure the safety of shoppers and staff alike. Shoppers will be welcomed during the same hours FoodWorks has been keeping for curbside pickup, with the addition of two hours reserved for seniors only on Tuesdays. New Hampshire State Police Marine Patrol said a man drowned Saturday in Ringe. Authorities on Sunday identified him as 48-year-old Benjamin Dabaluitz of Warner. New Hampshire State Police Marine Patrol said they found the man about 300 feet from the shore. He was pronounced dead once crews recovered the body. Investigators said they learned the man's dog was found swimming alone in the water and brought ashore earlier in the day. Three area high schools held graduation exercises on Saturday. Two more are scheduled for this week. Bellows Falls Union High School will graduate their class of 2022 on Thursday, followed by Brattleboro Union High School on Friday. March for Our Lives protests took place all over the country on Saturday. Hundreds of Vermonters gathered at the State House calling on lawmakers to pass gun reform amidst the recent mass shootings. According to Congressman Peter Welch, he says the divide in the Senate has gun reforms at a halt. And the quote from Congressman Welch, enough is enough, we need to keep up this fight, unquote. WTSA Sports, big day for your Brattleboro Union High School boys baseball team. Brattleboro takes on Essex in the High School Division I Baseball State Championship a little later this evening in Burlington. You can hear the game on 99.5 The Beast and 99.5thebeast.com beginning with the Colonels pregame show this evening at 6.15. Go Colonels! Rafi Devers hit a two-run homer as the Red Sox beat Seattle on Sunday 2-1. Boston has today off before hosting Oakland tomorrow. The Yankees keep on rolling and they keep on hitting home runs. Matt Carpenter hit a pair of home runs as the Yankees thumped the Cubs 18-4 on Sunday. The Yankees have a off day before hosting Tampa Bay tomorrow. Game 5 of the NBA Championship is tonight in San Francisco. Golden State hosting Boston with the series tied at two games apiece. Tip-off this evening is at 9 p.m. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Monday, June 13th, have a safe and tremendous day, everybody. My name is Ian Kelly.